In this video, we'll check out the Mars 400S Pro wireless video transmission system and see if this high-end offering from Hollyland is worth you taking a look at for your video creation needs. All right, let's do a little quick unboxing here of the Mars 400S Pro. All right, you have your usual paperwork. All right, let's first take a look at the transmitter here. So on the bottom, we have a cold shoe, your tightening screw. I like that on the tightening screw, they're color coded. So the transmitter is red and the receiver is blue. That's a nice, that's a nice little feature. So we have your OLED screen here. We have your uh, menu buttons on the side here. We have your SDI port, which is the S part of the Mars 400S. We have your antenna ports here and on the back. We have your Sony NPF battery port. We have a DCN port, USB-C power port, HDMI in, and of course your on and off button. So that's three three different ways that you can power these units. Sony batteries, the DCN, or the USB-C. All right, let's take a look at the receiver here. Okay, pretty much the same deal. Your menu navigation buttons, cold shoe mount down here, your SDI port, Sony battery, USB-C port on, off, HDMI out, because this is the receiver, and your DC port along with the antenna ports. See what else we've got in here. We've got six antennas. So it's nice that they give you one extra in case you damage one. We have, all right, so this is the standard US power port that will go on your DC power port here. So let's see if I can do this. Should be something like that. Okay, that was pretty painless. All right, and that looks like everything we've got. So one of the real advantages to this system is just how simple it is to use. So I've got my field monitor here, mounted on my little director's grip, I believe they call it. So I've already turned the transmitter on. I'm gonna turn my field monitor on. And now I'm going to turn on the receiver and let it sit for a minute while it links up automatically with the transmitter. And boom, there it is. It just simply works like this straight out of the box. And again, that's the real advantage to the system. There's really nothing you need to do other than plug in your HDMI cables, turn both units on, and you're done. It's that simple. Now this system can transmit to a variety of devices. So for example, you could transmit simultaneously to two HDMI devices, or you could transmit to a single HDMI device and two mobile devices, or you could transmit to four mobile devices, whether they're smartphones or iPads or other kinds of tablets. Let's talk briefly about the latency uh, with these, these units. Holland Land states it at about 0 0.07, 0 0.08. Keep in mind, most of the latency that you're going to see with these units is coming from the fact that you're using HDMI, which inherently has a bit more of a latency issue. If you add a camera that had SDI and a field monitor that had SDI, that latency that you're seeing when using these things is going to go way, way down. Now here's a little something I learned from a fellow YouTuber, Garrett Sammons. I believe I'm pronouncing his name right. Sorry, Garrett, if I screwed that up. But he took a look at these antennas that come with the 400S. There's absolutely nothing wrong with them. They're a little bit large, but they get you good transmission range. However, what he discovered was he picked up a couple of these FPV antennas, these sort of little nub looking guys. And he discovered that you can replace the antennas that come with the 400S Pro with these little guys. And with this, you get a really sleek appearance. These are 
4.8G antennas, when I was reaching the outer limits of this system at around that 400 foot mark, these seem to be giving me a little bit extra transmission range. So when I kind of stepped a little bit beyond that, or if I specifically maybe turned away, not having direct line of sight, these actually helped just a little bit so that the system didn't have little hiccups. Your mileage may vary on this and you may find that the performance is exactly the same. All I can say is that they did seem to make a little bit of a difference for me in regards to the transmission range, plus they look great. The menu system of the Mars 400S is also pretty straightforward. You just press that center button and hold it for a little bit. And there we go. Now, if you wanted to, you could go in and tell this thing to do a channel scan instead of the automatic scanning that it normally does. Might be useful if you're starting to see some interference or the video breaking up a little bit. You can also adjust the fan speed, which is a really cool feature. So by default, it's on auto but you can turn it down to slow to sort of reduce the noise a little bit or completely turn it off as well. Now, I wouldn't recommend doing that, especially if you start using this thing for extended periods of time, things may start to overheat a little bit, but honestly, even at auto, I really never hear this fan of this little guy and I've had mics as close to, you know, maybe two feet away from it or less and I've heard, not heard it at all. You can go into the system settings and that's where you can do things like pair them with each other, but again, that all happens automatically. You have language, you can reset everything to their factory defaults if you wanted to. You can set up your own Wi-Fi password, network info, so it's the IP address of the network that the devices are currently on, the version info of the devices themselves, and then just back to the main there. Really straightforward, really simple. Again, I think that's a huge selling point for the Morris 400S is how simple it is. Another feature that I really liked about this system are the different transmission rates that it can do. So if you go into the menu and you select scene mode, you have several different options to choose from. You can go into HD mode which is going to give you the best quality picture possible. Balance mode, which is a balance between quality and transmission speed, and then just speed mode. So depending on your environment, you've got three different options to choose from. For the most part, I pretty much stick to HD mode because I don't have a lot of problem with transmission speed with what I do. Rarely am I much more beyond 100 to 200 feet away from what I'm shooting. So I tend to leave it in HD mode. So if you're transmitting farther and farther and you start having any signal issues, you might want to try switching to one of these different modes. Another great feature is the ability to live stream your signal. You just need a USB-C to Ethernet adapter to plug into the receiver here, then run an Ethernet cable straight into your computer or hub. I've ordered all the items I need to demonstrate this and I'll show that in an upcoming video. I just want to briefly go over the mobile app support that the Mars 400S Pro has. It's the same Hollyview app that they have with the other wireless transmission systems in their line like the 300, 300 Pro. So what you'd have to do is once you've turned on your transmitters I've done over here, you want to connect to the Wi-Fi for the device. There it is, HLD, and then it'll be probably a serial number maybe. Asks for a password by default. That is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Join. And of course, you only need to do that once and it's going to remember it from that point on. And then pull up the Hollyview app. And there it is. The app is one of the things that impresses me most about this entire setup from Hollyland. This thing has everything you could possibly need. Everything from waveforms, histogram, you can pull up your focus peaking, exposure zebras, different frame types. You can actually magnify. It, that, is, that is cool. So you can really dial in your focus. You of course have false color. Turn that off. You can turn everything to a mono color. Now by doing that, and combine that with something like focus peaking, it makes it super easy to see your focus peaking lines. You can load in different uh, LUTs that you might have. Essentially, it turns this thing 
into one of the best field monitors you could ever want. Let's pull up the menu again. You can take a picture of your scene right there. Imagine that if you were on a set and you need to make some notes and you could just scribble, hey, I want to get rid of that. Let's brighten up that area there. Let's throw a light back in there. Really, really cool stuff. Super simple. Everything just simply works. There's nothing complicated I need to do, which is incredibly important, especially when you're in front of a client. You just want everything working as easily as possible right away. You start getting bogged down in connectivity and starting to fiddle with things. Your client's not going to be happy about that. You're just going to be embarrassed. The simpler, the better. And the Hollyland 400 Pro S absolutely falls into that category. I think Hollyland has positioned themselves in a really unique position uh, in the market. Usually to get the kind of pro features that you find on the 400S Pro, that 400 foot transmission range, the uh, SDI, you're looking at something like a Teradex system, which I believe starts anywhere from like $1,500 to $2,000 for the very base model. Hollyland has the 400S Pro at about, I think, $639. $650. There's really not much competition at all in this area. Definitely recommend this case that Hollyland has for these devices. Really, really nicely thickly padded. Let's take these off and those can go right there in the middle. Those in there. Another spot to put in your cables, another padded spot in the back and then everything nicely contained. And this is actually a sort of a soft butt hard case. Really, really nice. I'm a budget filmmaker myself, and I try to dedicate a lot of the videos on this channel to finding great gear at a good price. While the Mars 400 S Pro might be a bit pricier than a lot of the things I review on this channel, it's still an incredible bargain compared to other products with similar features. So if you need a wireless transmission system that has features like SDI and a 400 foot range, and you still want to be able to pay your mortgage this month, I would highly recommend the Mars 400 S Pro. I hope you found this video useful. If you have any questions, please let me know down in the comments. And if this video has been helpful to you at all, please consider leaving me a like and maybe a sub to see some of the stuff I've got coming up. Thanks so much for watching.